Hey guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video. Now today, I'm going to be discussing something I have not seen a lot of people talk about, and that is the LEGO Ninjago Dark Island Trilogy. Now, for something that is canon to the plot of Ninjago, I feel like this is talked about very minimal, in the sense of it only is talked about or brought up when people have something, I guess, they don't really have anything to say about it, except that it was in the intro for March the Oni. Now, just a little background on what the Dark Island Trilogy is. So, the Dark Island Trilogy is this, again, trilogy of these books that LEGO released to coincide with LEGO Ninjago. Now, I think that they took place in between seasons 7 and 8, or maybe they took it place in between 6 and 7. I'm not certain, but they took place in between those times. Well, LEGO Ninjago The Dark Island Trilogy is about Klaus and the ninja going back to the Dark Island. I don't know very much about it. All I know is that it takes place on the Dark Island and Klaus is the main villain. Basically what you could gather from the intro of March the Oni. Well, the thing that makes it sort of infamous among the Ninjago community is that it's books. You can't watch it. It's not widely available. It's on paper, which makes it very hard to read. It makes it even worse when, it, when you come to realize that the books themselves are very limited to find. They cost a ridiculous amount of money on Amazon. And even on eBay, I've looked and they are pretty cheap. I guess the first one is relatively cheap. Not even, de definitely not cheap. Very expensive for a book. $16 is a lot of money. But then the next two books, especially the third book, is awfully ridiculously expensive on eBay. I just don't get how these books are just so expensive. They are so rare and so hard to find, which makes them so hard to read. They don't even have them on ebook, which is very irritating to me, as it's like I can't even go out and buy them digitally. So it's just a very awkward scenario. And what makes it even worse is that they are canon to the story. So there is just this gap in between season 6 and 7 of LEGO Ninjago that I know I am missing. And as a Ninjago super freak, just I guess a part of me that that loves Ninjago is missing because, you know, I'm missing an entire season here. I feel like there's just so much potential that they missed making this canon, but also not making it widely available. It makes it very irritating. Now, of course, if it was, say, canon, kind of like Way of the Departed is canon, and say they didn't reference it in the TV show, it was sort of just, I guess, a fill in the black, fill in the blanks sort of, I guess, thing, it would be fine to me. But they put it in the March of the Oni intro, making it feel like I am missing something. And that is just so irritating to me. Now, there is a light at the end of this tunnel, though. There is this library that I go to in my hometown, and at this library, I found out that they're able to check out books from other libraries, and one of the libraries has the Dark Island book, and I am so excited. Now, I already got it. I don't have it in hand yet, but I have asked to uh, borrow it, and it's getting sent over. Now, do you guys want to see me do an audiobook of this book, or would you rather me just sort of give my summary and just tell you what happened. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!